Hey guys, welcome to Toy Factory Tycoon on Roblox. So this is made by the same people that made uh, Candy Factory or whatever it's called uh, by Blockstone Incorporated, I believe. Let me check. Um, yes, okay. So this is on the front page. It has over 10,000 players, and this is one of like one of the basic tycoons out there. Um, I did recently contact this person, and uh, hopefully we can do some collabing or um, promotion and stuff like that. Uh, which will benefit both of us and he's got 18k subscribers make sure to go check out his uh, youtube channel i do want to make some games in the future um tycoons aren't that hard to make i was thinking about using like zed novice kit or something like that and making something like that but anyways big granny here don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already and um if you want to learn more information make sure to go check out my description down below i wonder if we can get like a manual clicker or something like that i don't know if there's going to be manuals at all um, but we have to save up seventy dollars to get a balloon dropper. So basically, all this tycoon is is that you know you just make you just make toys, which I find that's kind of cool. Uh, we're making like little Hot Wheels cars or whatever those things are. <clears throat> so you're probably wondering why I muted the game. Uh, again, there's music on it, so um, this button is broken. I might as well just close this. Also, can't really close any of this stuff right here. But um, we got a balloon dropper now. Fluffy unicorn dropper and a colorizer. We're gonna get a fluffy unicorn dropper. Colorizer does not help. Um, neither does a materializer. You can get it later on though. It makes it look cool. Um, basically, it just allows you to customize what your stuff looks like. Which um, why is there even a colorizer and materializer if like these are toys? You can't really change the color or change the material of them. Maybe you can. I'm not really sure, but you know. Retexturizing meshes and stuff that's more complicated than people think you have to actually change the actual texture of it um, Usually you do I've seen a couple meshes where you don't have to but you know So yeah, the main reason why I just muted this game is because of music that I can't mute um, I like I like how it's not unicorn dropper. It's just a fluffy unicorn dropper <laughs> So you can battle in this tycoon. There's like a little cool toy map what I like about this is that you can you're like super tiny and you can see the outside world that'll be cool like if um you get bigger and bigger like you make bigger and bigger toys and stuff that'd be cool all right we're making fluffy unicorns now let's get an upgrade next which should be 300 bucks we might as well because the bongo dropper is one thousand dollars and this upgrade is going to do us a lot more good than another dropper depending on the value of course but usually upgraders help a lot like i'm betting this one's probably gonna at least double my money uh, it's cold in my room I plan on going for a bike ride later, later today and by the way guys my PC components are coming in uh, later this week so hope you guys are excited for that I do have to wipe everything off my PC what I'll do since I'm getting an external hard drive uh, along with my order I'm uh, gonna go ahead and transfer all my like pictures and files to that and then I'll go ahead and just wipe my machine and then will install everything it'll take probably a couple hours to rebuild it because I'm basically rebuilding my whole computer because of the certain components I'm getting if you're wondering what I'm getting just ask in the comments down below um, especially if you're like a computer nerd you know you have interest in that kind of stuff if you custom built your computer recently though I'm probably gonna say it's better than mine because a lot of my technology is pretty old I mean my processor RAM and motherboard are six years old. Not that the motherboard or RAM really matter much for speed at all, but the processor. AMD Venom. I'm jumping to an i7 6700K, so that's going to be a huge improvement. Even back then when I had my Athlon X3, going from AMD Venom, or going from an Athlon to a uh, Venom, like, increased my FPS by 10 to 20 on most games. It stopped bottlenecking because that used to be, like, a weak 3-core, and it kept almost maxing out, so uh, it kept bottlenecking me. And, um... And moving from a faster, even single core, uh, quad core that is better at calculating stuff, that really made a huge difference for games and stuff. I still had my Athlon. I probably wouldn't even be able to record. But yeah, that my AMD Venom, like, when it first came out, it was beating i7s. That's why it sold so much. It was a power-hungry processor, but it was, it was powerful. Very powerful. At one-third the price point. Get this. One-third the price point. Besides the i7, though, it has more thread, so it's probably better for multi-core still, but that's, main, that's mainly the reason why I'm getting an i7, even though an i5 would still be a huge upgrade. Even an i3 would be an upgrade for me, but, you know, I don't want a dual-core. I need, I need some more cores and more threads so I can handle more. 
buttons, you know, intent to workloads. You definitely want an i7 if you're going to do video rendering, stuff like that. Otherwise, if you're just going to be playing games, go with an i5. Even if you're streaming, go with an i7. The extra threads always help. Because if you look at a lot of benchmarks, uh, like if you're playing super demanding games, the i5 might be getting like 80% usage, which is not a bottleneck, by the way. It's when it hits like 90 to 100. Um, and the i7 will be getting like 50% because of those extra threads. It can handle a lot more. Oh boy, is this, what is this guy doing? Where did he go? I wonder if he's going to try to attack me. He probably is. Oh, he ended up over there. I was, uh, I decided to be smart about it and just start slashing around me. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know if they took this advice from me or not, because I know these guys watched my videos about their, uh, Candy Factory Tycoon, but it looks like they added some stuff. Oh, gosh. What is, what kind of sort? Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> he <laughs> Whatever the heck that was, that was over. That was one heck of an overpowered sword by Teddy Bear Dropper. That's gonna be fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, what I like about this upgrader is that it hits every miner. So, yeah, that thing like probably more than double their money. That's a lot. We're making a lot more money. I mean, we're not making that much, um, especially compared to Toy Factory Tycoon. I think this is kind of a slower progression, and you make less money. Not necessarily a bad thing though. So I wonder if there's anything to explore on this map. And they're promoting uh Dan T oh gosh. What is what is this guy's problem? He still can't aim, but <laughs> he's trying to get closer so he can get a good shot. Ooh, that actually probably would have hit my arm. I'm just gonna run up here. Oh you can't run up here. Wait, can you? Oh god. Dude, calm down, it's gonna be okay. Dude, that aim. <laughs> that aim. Ten out of ten aim. I think he's like trying to aim for the floorboards. Ow. He's got such a big explosion radius. I can't really. I'm just going to charge at him. And try to kill him that way. Alright, we have. Wait, we need. Okay, yeah, it's 1.5k. Let's get the teddy bear dropper. Oh, yeah. By toy gun dropper, that's going to be $2,000. That's going to cost. I say cost. That's going to cost quite a bit. That's when you know I can't talk. <laughs> can't even speak English and it's my main language so we just got some walls to protect ourselves from that guy I'm gonna go ahead and get a second pair of walls because I just don't want to get harassed by that guy um, owner door is pretty expensive so I'm not gonna bother that whoa what's what's going on here does anybody else see those black artifacts I don't know if that's my graphics card or if that's uh, this game but that's weird I think it's the game because I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have some artifacts on my screen. I gotta... Hold on, I'm gonna change my graphics card settings real quick. Well, that's weird. The artifacts have been also been happening on... Uh, uh, what is it called? Beam and G Drive. It's weird. I don't know if my graphics card's going out or what. My graphics card always runs at a cool temperature. I mean, it's probably only running like 45, 55 Celsius right now. I mean, the critical for it's like 90. You don't want to go above 90. The highest temp I've reached on it while heavy gaming is like 75. And the fans are still at like 20% even then. So if I turn them up to 100%, it might run under like 70 at all times, no matter how heavy it gets for it. Alrighty, now we can... Oh, we can go ahead and get some weapons so we can kill that guy. By toy gun. Okay, that's toy gun. Oh, they, they started changing appearance now. Some cool glowy effects. Awesome. These artifacts are really bugging me. There's literally a black line going across my screen right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why it, it's going out. Maybe I'm going to try to update the drivers after I do this series. It's not awful, but it's just really annoying that there's like an entire black line going across my screen. There's also one on the right side right here. Oh, boy. I mean, if I look around on like Google Chrome and stuff, it the black lines aren't there. I'll be getting a new graphics card uh, down the road, and like when AMD releases the new ones or NVIDIA, depending on which one's better. But I don't understand NVIDIA fanboys. Like all my school friends are NVIDIA fanboys. I don't understand it. I mean, NVIDIA is kind of winning the competition right now. I understand that, but you can get an R9 uh, 390 that is about the same price, and you get way more VRAM. The only disadvantage is you get a lot more power usage. Sure, a lot of people say they produce heat, but if you have a good cooler, you have a good cooler doesn't really matter beyond that point they are power hungry though I do agree but 
you get more than double the VRAM because the 970 has 3.5 gigs, and then an R9 290, or not a 290, a 390, the new ones, uh, even though they're just kind of a rebadge of each other, um, you get 8 gigs. That's a pretty good value for your money. I mean, you're not ever going to use that much VRAM unless you're running like two 4K displays, but it's, it's just a lot more better value for your money. People always think that gra on graphics cards, like they buy the super weak graphics cards of like four gigs of VRAM. It's like, you don't understand that VRAM does not increase your speed. It allows you to run like higher resolutions and more textures. But if you're going to have a weak graphics card, what's the, what's the point of like even running high textures or getting high... Well, textures don't really affect frame rate. That's all VRAM. But what's the point of running like higher resolutions and stuff? At any time you double the amount of pixels, you cut your frame rate in half. It's basically like proportional in a way, or linear. So when you decrease pixels, your FPS goes up. If you increase, your FPS goes down. <clears throat> That's why if you go to 1080p to 4K, your FPS usually gets cut in one fourth. So people have to lower settings and stuff. Oh my God. That thing is overpowered. It's an insta-kill knife. I couldn't touch him. Let's go ahead and get a laser blaster. That way we can start blasting away at that guy. And, uh... I guess we could get a rocket launcher. Just a regular sword if we want. I know I'm, I, I usually play it, so... You know, I try to go for things. To give him money. But seriously, I'm, I'm sick of getting harassed by this guy. It looks like we can't buy any more upgrades or miners for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking this guy. How does he have so much more speed than I do? Where's this guy at? i got to be careful with these rockets. Is he invisible right now? What's he got up there? Oh, he's got all kinds of gear. Oh, it's one of those tycoon that... That turned into a bunch of gear. Shoot. Oh, cute. You got your own owner door. Where's he at right now? Is he going to harass the guest? Hope he doesn't. Maybe we should get an owner door. Come out, dude. Are you afraid? I wonder if he's even in there right now. I don't see him out here, though. Let's head back to my tycoon for now, I guess. If he starts harassing the guest, I'm going to go ahead kind of attack him because the guest is pretty much defenseless. He's got a sword. And it's I, it's kind of funny when people have like way better weapons than I do and uh, they even have guns and stuff and I still kill them with the sword. Just proves like their skill level a lot. I mean, I, I again, it doesn't really matter too much, but <clears throat> let's get a frisbee dropper. That'll be 5,000 bucks. It's a lot of money. Get some spotlights. I don't want to turn this. It's not even dark in here. Why do they want me to buy spotlights? It probably turns it obnoxiously bright. Oh, there you are. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, boy. You're trying to run fast, aren't you? I still killed you. What? How? He was dead, and then he killed me. What? That does not make any sense. Okay. Credit to the tycoon owners, but nice job because, um... You actually make it so when you die, you keep your weapons. That's that's awesome. Because it's really annoying when you have to go and recollect all your stuff. What I could do is, like, if I can figure out how to get in his tycoon, which I can't, um, is I can, like, start, like, blowing up all of his droppers and stuff. That way, like, they blow away. Walk towards your door. Walk towards your door. Oh, did it hit him? Dude, Redcliffe. That's not even his actual Roblox character. What does he actually look like? He's probably some kind of noob. Oh, your heel pad? Come on, man. I thought you were better than that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, so now he doesn't want to fight. Okay. That makes sense. Anytime anybody gets weapons, he doesn't want to fight them anymore. I wonder if I'm breaking his drop. Whoa! <laughs> that was lag. <laughs> just went straight through his building. Let's keep bombarding him. I get the whole server to start bombarding him. Um, Some people know some codes for this game. I don't know any. <clears throat> Gosh, you Roblox Plus. I need to turn off the sounds for that. I apologize if like it's loud and stuff. It's notified me that there's new items. Hey, man. I still got you. 
How much damage does this thing do? Boy, this is really inaccurate. Holy crap. <laughs> Good job. Why am I stuck? Did he do... S I think he did something to me. Are you serious? Are you going to try to... Oh my god. Why are you attacking me? I didn't even do anything towards you. I'm stuck and he still can't hit me. Boy, that, that lag though. Come on, buddy. These rockets. Oh boy, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, that was aimed up too far. Why the frick am I stuck? I'm going to kill myself. There we go. That's weird how I'm stuck. New Limited that I can't afford. <laughs> I'm, I'm still pretty poor right now. I really want to make my own Tycoon slash Abby though. Abby would be the easiest to make because I don't need to script at all. I understand I can make stuff that kills you, but I plan on making... Uh, let me know what you guys think about this idea. I plan on making an Abby where you don't actually die, but it's similar to my YouTube hangout. Why is this guy attacking me? I didn't even do anything to him. Why are you, are you attacking the blue guy that's harassing you? <laughs> he's harass. I wonder if he's just harassing me. I don't know what his problem is. I hope that rocket hit him. He's probably coming towards me. Oh, yeah, pe that's seriously an insta-kill knife. Come on. Oh, we got a three-on-three -three fight here. I can I can still predict where he's, but he doesn't even go invisible all the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's going to hit him. Oh, I'm going to hit his... Oh, that must have hurt, didn't it? So there's an explosion radius. I'll still hit them even if they're behind cover. But anyways, guys, that'll end episode of uh, Toy Factor Tycoon. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Again, I apologize for muting the game, but I'll see you guys later. Let's get an upgrade for this. Why not? Um, that should help quite a bit. So, hope you guys have been enjoying it. I'll see you guys later. Um, let me know what you guys think about this tycoon. If you want me to do more tycoons, which uh, a lot of my views are actually coming from tycoons. That's why I've been doing so much lately. I apologize. If you want to watch me build, I'm going to try to do building live streams more often now. Oh my god, that is so obnoxiously bright. I'm not going to buy another spotlight. Oh god. When we get the third floor, they'll help. But why is, why are they so bright? You know, but I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And um, don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists too. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.